Let's see here. There's something on TV. There's something on Jocelyn's TV. A guy is talking. Wait. It's on the cutting edge, he says. We're starting to hear more and more video game samples and video game sounds trickling into pop music. I think within the next three to five years, David, you're gonna hear most mainstream pop music sounding like video games. Cutting edge. The mainstream pop. Video games must be an infomercial for something. Software, probably. Jocelyn is sleeping. She says she can't sleep, but she's sleeping. Oh? I'm awake. Now I'm awake. Fucking wide awake. I should eat something. Eat what? Book. Read a book. How to lose your mind with the lights on? Here we go. Kevin Sampson. I need to read some Kevin Sampson. How to lose your mind with the lights on? By Kevin Sampson. Future Tense Publication 1994 Who is Kevin Sampson? Who is Kevin Sampson? A lot of people seem to wonder You'd be surprised Kevin Sampson was born on St. Patrick's Day 1967 In Kennewick, Washington his middle name is Patrick. I am one of the world's most fastidious collectors of Kevin Sampseliana. That's what it's called. That's what I call it.
my mind Losing my mind My mind with the lights on This is an excerpt from a novel Envelopes I couldn't find my box of envelopes I had a book of stamps Who is this guy? I needed to write to this publisher Mail order I found them They were on top of the fridge What? The stamps? I wrote a letter Very simple. Future tense. I would like to order all available titles by Kevin Sampson. It's absolutely imperative for me. Absolutely. Thank you. Mick O'Grady. That started it. The O'Grady Samsel Letters, 1995 to 2001. Unpublished. Kevin Sampsel's first letter dated 5-12-95. Jocelyn's talking in her sleep. The cats are awake and walking around, if you can believe it. Says, Mick. Mick. Hey, I was surprised to get your letter. It was cosmic. Let me explain. Last month I bought the I Checked the Mail book and saw your letters. Odd, agonizing, and beautiful. And I saw Stove Piper and thought, hey, this looks too cool. I was going to send you submissions soon when, bam, your letter comes. I'm out of 13 girls right now, but we'll send soon with more new work for submission. Adding to this envelope the brand new Future Tense collection of Portland folks. Would love to be involved with Stove Piper. You could even reprint stuff from any of my books. I'll call you soon or write more. Kevin S. P.S. Some of these chaps are in my book, plus some older stuff that isn't so great. But we're young. So here was another collection to start compiling. Mostly mail order. Ordering schizoid. The only problem with mail ordering things was that I could never forget I had mail ordered the things. Nice. Our correspondence was sporadic, but he would send me whatever new books he had coming out. They kept coming, and I kept writing. Here's the Beatles postcard he must have sent me, November 1995. It says, Your words are endless in my heart's apple. Thank you. Here's me lately, busy. Tired, dad, juice, thinking about buying a new computer, writing, remixing others' poems, on acid, opening for Jim Carroll in front of 200 people, Connie Chung, Connie Chung, fucking freaking and peeking, having fun juggling my words with other people's heads. I've seen little of your work, I'd like to see more. I was school or work or life or death. What's up with snow? Words of the eternal con artist. 
Also running a reading series. Getting ready to publish loads of products. Send you my new chat. And I'm not the one born. Somebody told me that Richard Speck was in a drug enhanced porno shot somewhere in his prison. I hear his breasts are big like an old lady. Hormones. But now I want to go to prison. Anxious to hear what you've been doing. Do you contribute to society ever again? Pike, stoven, drunk, vigilante, pop singer, mask, country singer, football uniform. I spend countless minutes talking to you in my head. Lieutenant Chief Kevin Sampson. Cut to a commercial.